All right, now the Goodlock team has started rolling out a brand new update for one of the Goodlock modules called Wonderland, which brings in some new features. And this update has arrived on the Galaxy S24 series, S23 series, as well as S22 series. However, not all the features will be available for the predecessors of the S24 series. Now let's go ahead and open Goodlock application. Here is Wonderland. I'll tap on more and go to the store. Now here you can see the change log which talks about few new features but before uh, that let me show you the uh, version number here it's 1.5.05 and the update was released on 12th march however i got this update on my devices uh, just a day ago now let's get back to the change log here as you can see it says support full screen aod only galaxy s24 series so the wonderland will support uh, the full screen always on display only on the s24 series then it says support new lock screen fx slide which i am going to show you in a bit uh, uh, then we have got improved usability to prevent conflicts between settings from Wonderland and Lockstar since One UI 6.1. Again, on One UI 6.1, we are going to get this usability improvement to prevent the conflict between the settings from the Wonderland and Lockstar. Lockstar is another good lock module which enables us to customize the clock faces on the lock screen. And there was some conflict between these two modules, the Wonderland and the Lockstar, because both of them uh, work on the lock screen of the device. And now this conflict has been resolved. Now let's Let's go ahead and open the application here now this is the page where we create our own wallpaper uh, and we can create a different lock screen effect the new feature is available for creating the lock screen effect let me tap on this now here we can tap on plus button to create a new lock screen wallpaper effect as you can see uh, we can select an image here this pop-up will ask us to select the image for the lock screen as well as aod now let me select uh, an image for the lock screen now this is the image i selected for lock screen now we can customize the always on display as well let me tap on this it says to use the feature please turn on always on display i generally keep the always on display turned off so let me go to settings and turn on the always on display now here on the s24 series uh, on the latest one ui 6.1 you can see we have got this full screen always on display feature which must be enabled as well now let me go back now let me select an image here i'll select this now i've selected the images for both the lock screen and always on display which is the full screen always on display on the s24 cd now let me close this as you can see here this is the always on display now let me go to these fx here as you can see we already had all these fx we had crt we had pixelate ripple peer warp edge blur hexagon slice flip and now the new addition is slide you can see when i select slide this is how it's going to look let me just close this let me show you this here let me tap on screen on you see it shifts from the always on display to the lock screen with a slide effect now let me tap on this again you see from the lock screen it slides into the always on display full screen wallpaper this looks fantastic isn't it now if you want to customize this further i can tap on this and increase the speed uh, change the type let me tap on push let me change the movement to shift uh, direction from bottom to top or top to bottom we can select let me change this as well it says masking on or off let me turn this on let's see now how it looks let me close this i'll tap on screen on Look at this. This is the different effect we have got. It slides from the top and it has got the circle effect as well. But with this effect, we have this mask. So we can't really see the full screen always on display. So what I'll do is I'll go back here. I'll turn off the mask and close this. Now you see we have removed the mask and the full screen always on display is here. And it has this beautiful transition effect here. Now this is the all new slide option and this is how we customize the full screen always on display on Wonderland module. These are the two new features and then they have also removed the conflict between the Wonderland and the clock face which is here. Now once this is done let me tap on download and save and tap on set as wallpaper. Now the wallpaper has been set. Let me lock the screen. You see this is how the lock screen effect looks. Let me double tap on this. It lights up to open the lock screen and this is the lock screen customization I have done on the Lockstar application on GoodLock. Now let me just double tap on this again to go to the always on display. You see this is a beautiful looking full screen always on display we have. And now the Wonderland module supports the full screen always on display. Now the only bummer with this application is you cannot change the home screen wallpaper here. The moment you change the home screen wallpaper the entire effect will vanish. Let me show you that. Let's go ahead and change the home screen wallpaper. I'll select this default wallpaper and tap on next. 
or let me only select the home screen wallpaper, not the lock screen. I'll tap on next and tap on done. Now I have only changed the home screen wallpaper. However, the lock screen effect will also go away. You see the lock screen wallpaper is gone. When I double tap on this, it will give me the default lock screen wallpaper which we already have. So this could be a bug or maybe it is not possible because uh, these two wallpapers work together to give us that kind of effect which we get on Wonderland application. Having said that, this is a bummer. We can't really change the lock screen wallpaper or the home screen wallpaper when you have already set a particular combination from Wonderland. Now, like I mentioned, even though we have uh, this update for the Galaxy S22 series as well as the S23 series, the only new feature we have got on those two devices is a slide effect which works seamlessly but the full screen AOD support is not available maybe once we get one UI 6.1 on the S23 series as well as the S22 series we will have the support the full screen always on display support on Wonderland for those devices as well that is all I want to share with you guys let me know if you have received this update or not drop a comment and while you do that be sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like if you find this video informational thanks for watching my name is Salyan signing off cheers bye bye